When RMC announced their Raptor and T-Rex track models at IAPA back in 2015, us coaster enthusiasts went crazy with our predictions on where the first of these track models will go. Now that we have more information on the development of the T-Rex model, I think that it is time for me to make my prediction video about where and when I think the first T-Rex model could be installed, as well as what the layout might look like. First, let's talk about where. Some of the major parks that people have tossed around include Cedar Point, Six Flags Magic Mountain, and of course, before the announcement of Jersey Devil, many people said Six Flags Great Adventure. Now, personally, I completely disagree with all of these predictions. Whenever there is a first-of-its-kind model that comes out, there are always prototypes that are built first. This is done to see how the roller coaster will perform in terms of its capacity and reliability, as well as how the park does attendance-wise after purchasing this model of coaster. You saw it with the Raptor models with Wonder Woman Golden Lasso Coaster, which went to Six Flags Fiesta Texas, and Railblazer, which went to California's Great America, and I have no doubt that we will see a similar thing done with respect to the T-Rex model. This, I think, rules out Star Parks as they would want to get some sort of crazy, insane, super tall form of this coaster, and Change would want to install some sort of prototype to a, I guess you could say, smaller park before investing in a huge ride. Now, of course, this is a T-Rex model which was designed for better capacity and to go to bigger parks, so when I say a smaller park, what I really mean is a mid-tier park, like for example, King's Dominion or Carowinds. These are the two parks that I would pick as the most likely two parks to get an RMC T-Rex. These parks have plenty of extra land for expansion and are parks that are in need for either an intense ejector airtime filled ride or a fun hypercoaster. In order to decide which though, we need to look at their multi-year plans, which would require that we have an estimate of when a T-Rex could be built. The leaders at RMC have made it insanely clear that they want to develop and sell their Raptor model as much as possible before they start to sell any sort of T-Rex. On top of that, design and testing for a T-Rex isn't even done yet, and there is still plenty of work that they have to do in order to get this model ready for production and distribution. Because of these factors, I would say that the most likely year that we could see one of these T-Rex models being made is somewhere around 2025 or later. In terms of King's Dominion, Cedar Fair hasn't really been keeping up with the park that much since Intimidator 305, which didn't really go as well as they originally thought it would. Plus, the park already seems to have their five-year plan with the rumored addition of an SNS Free Fly coaster in 2021 or 2022, as well as a B&M Wing coaster that could come somewhere in or around 2026. On top of all of this, King's Dominion already has an ejector airtime filled ride with twisted timbers, so a T-Rex probably wouldn't be of their top priority. Because of these reasons, I would say out of the two parks that I would think could get the first T-Rex, I would say that King's Dominion is the least likely option. I personally think that Carowinds would be the best choice for this because they just got a coaster in 2019 with Copperhead Strike, which means that they most likely would be due for a coaster around 2022 or 2023, and then finally one in 2025 or 2026. Plus, Cedar Fair has been putting a lot of attention into the park over the past couple of years, and I think that they would do a lot more of that in the future. The park did buy a 60-acre plot of land back in 2011. 10 acres is being used for Blue Ridge Junction, where Copperhead Strike is, 
but 50 acres of that land can still be developed. Plus, the park is in need of an ejector airtime focused ride, which they don't really have at the moment, so I think an RMC T-Rex could give them what they need. Now, some of you guys may be questioning why I didn't mention any Six Flags parks, and that reason is because I feel like Six Flags will try to stick with the Raptor models for as long as they possibly can. They seem to be totally fine with adding these raptors to their major parks as Jersey Devil is opening at Six Flags Great Adventure and there is one rumored for Six Flags Magic Mountain. Because of this, I highly doubt that Six Flags, especially in their current financial state, would splurge for a bigger version of the raptor with more capacity when the original raptors seem to be working just fine for them. In all, I think that we could see a 200 to 250 foot RMC T-Rex going to Carowinds with plenty of strong ejector airtime filled moments as well as some wacky inversions as it flies through its layout. But that's really just a prediction and honestly anything can happen and only time will tell if I end up being completely right or completely wrong. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching this video. I had a lot of fun thinking about what parks this new coaster model could get to first. And of course, make sure to like, comment, subscribe, and turn on that notification bell so that you get notified when I upload. And I will see you guys all next time. Peace out. Alrighty. Take. Uh, four. <laughs> Plus, the park is in need for an ejector airtime focused ride as. Oh, frick. Okay.